Hello everyone, I'm Katie with John Henry's. Come on into my kitchen today because I'm going to share with you everything that you need to know about our beef English roast. Our beef English roast is cut from one of the eight primal cuts of the beef referred to as the chuck. This primal cut is the animal's upper shoulder and lower neck region. It is among the most muscular part of the beef as it plays a key role in movement. That means that this cut can be somewhat tough with lots of connective tissue. But when it's cooked correctly, those tissues break down and release some amazing flavor. There are many subcategories of the chuck, but today I'm going to share with you about our bone-in English roast and our boneless English roast. As you can see, both of these roasts have a nice amount of marbling and fat, making this cut a well-known choice for a pot roast. If you select the bone-in version of this roast, you will notice that due to the way it is cut, there's usually more fat near and around the bone, whereas the boneless version can be cut slightly different, giving it a leaner yet still marbled appearance. Choosing a bone-in roast will give you a more robust beefy flavor because when you cook the roast, the flavor and the nutrients from the bone is transferred into the juices and the meat. That's not to say that the boneless roast won't be flavorful as well, because we know that a lot of the flavor comes from the fat. So if you want a very flavorful pot roast, either option here will not disappoint. Many of you may be thinking that this all sounds very familiar, like you may have heard these exact same things before about a different roast, and you'd be correct. Our English roast has a very close relative and that would be the chuck roast. Both are types of roasts that are cut from the same primal cut of beef and a trained butcher knows where the line is from an English roast to the chuck roast. An easy way I know one from another is the level of fat and marbling. The English roast is a step leaner on our marbling scale, whereas the chuck roast holds the record for the most fat and marbling. So if you're looking to prepare this roast for a family dinner, I recommend that you plan between a half a pound and three quarters of a pound per person due to the ratio of meat to marbling. To feed my family of two adults and four kids, I usually request my roast to be cut to about four and a half to five pounds. Because we're a custom butcher, we can cut your roast to your desired size. Our butcher can cut them as small as one pound and as large as 15 to 20 pounds depending on the size of the beef. Our English roast can be cooked in many different ways, but my favorite is to cut it up into large pieces, place them in the Instant Pot with some bone broth or red wine, or to cook it in the slow cooker. Either of these options help to break down those connective tissues, leaving you with a tender and flavorful cut of beef. In either option, you can add in your potatoes and carrots or any other vegetables you desire. All of our cows here at John Henry's are grass-fed and pasture-raised, and we raise them right here locally on our family farm. They're never given any antibiotics or hormones, and our fields and feed are never exposed to harsh chemicals or pesticides. You can tell by the flavor and the quality of the meat that our cattle live a happy and active life out on our farm. I hope that you enjoyed this little lesson today in my kitchen, and thank you so much for supporting our farm. We're so glad that you found our channel. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see more awesome recipes, click the video below.